My name is Doug McAndrew, I'm the uh, Technical Director or the Chief Technical Officer for Aeromobile R&D in Slovakia and we're presenting today uh, at the Goodwood Festival of Speed our uh, AM 4.0 um, vehicle for uh, the, the public to see and, uh, and understand how it will operate. Well, we've been trying to, to develop um, a, a fully productionized uh, legal variant of the current uh, flying uh, regulations into a, a product that can both drive and fly effectively without compromising either. So it takes the latest technologies from automotive and aviation and merges them together, incorporates them into a solution that provides a very capable flying vehicle that can fly at 270 kilometers an hour for 700 kilometers, but also can drive on the road, uh, be fully safe and comp compliant to all of the road going regulations um, while doing up to 100 miles an hour if, it, if allowed to by local regulations. Well, I mean, the, the, there are a number of critical factors that we had to solve for to provide a solution to, the, to both the legal and the, the requirements of the missions that we were trying to solve for. It obviously transforms. It has the ability to produce a vehicle that can sit in a standard parking space or a, a parking space that you would recognize without having to have parts removed. It transforms into an aircraft in three minutes with the wings fully deployed and the propeller um, in, installed um, at the rear of the vehicle folded into the correct location. Um, and it provides the, uh, a cockpit that you would recognize as a pilot and also as a driver. Uh, it has a, a level of transformation on the suspension geometry as well uh, because we needed to optimize the vehicle for drag. So the wheels store in the actual, in the position as it's shown here, and that is the most optimal cruise condition. And then on approach to landing, the wheels will deploy and actually push down into a, the landing space, the landing condition. And that will be the, the landing position that would, the vehicle will come to rest at. And the vehicle would allow it to be reset. The suspension geometry um, is reset to a driving condition and then the wings are folded into place. So it's a very adaptive, flexible product. So the um, power plant that we've installed uh, for this vehicle is a classical power plant. It has a 300 horsepower internal combustion engine uh, with a bespoke uh, transmission system that provides direct drive to the propeller. So that's recognizable by pilots in terms of safety and robustness and reliability. That gearbox also has installed onto it a, a generator so that in driving mode, electric LNG is driven through the internal combustion engine to two electric machines that are located at the front of the vehicle. And those electric machines drive independently the left and the right hand wheel, gives us the ability to use electric drive and torque vectoring to actually provide improved handling and, and, and drivability uh, while uh, still using a classical internal combustion engine. It's an interesting journey that we've been through so far. It's taken us um, four years from our previous concept to get to this point. We're in uh, the testing phase now when we're building our testing product for uh, flight operations at the end of this year. Um, and the plan is to be able to be able to hand over the first customer keys in 2021.